River Island, rising in Doreen the Crinig, in the hills northwest of Drumalig, and flowing through Castle Donovan, Cara, Clahan, Bonalan, and finally Skibbereen, before reaching the ocean at a fortress that is called the Fort of the Jewels, Dún na Shead. The journey of the River Island is of course one not just of distance, but also of time. From where it first tumbles out of the hills, to where it is drawn by the ebb and flow of the tide, its course is marked by two great pillars of our history, and its estuary is Dún na Shead, and here close to its source stands the towering ancestral home of the O'Donovans. Dating from the late 1500s and once a hub of bustling life, trade and revelry, Castle Donovan has stood silent now for 400 years. The river island is tidal from the town of Skibbereen all the way to Baltimore. It is in Baltimore that the story of the importance of the island river has its beginnings. In 1631, Algerian mercenaries sacked the village of Baltimore, carrying off goods and many of its inhabitants. Those that survived felt insecure living near a deep water harbour and moved upstream, founding the town of Skibbereen. Today, many of the businesses of the town are located along its banks. There are cafes and garden centres. There is also the newly built Arts Centre and the West Cork Hotel, a contemporary hotel built on the riverbank and ideally situated to explore all that the river has to offer. Finally, there is also Skibbereen Heritage Centre. The centre is located in the award-winning and beautifully restored Old Gasworks Building. For its entire length, the river abounds with wildlife. In late spring and early summer, the flow of sweetened fresh water, the clear air and the abundance of the mayfly in the long hours of daylight brings a run of salmon and trout. The river is ideally suited to leisure activities such as kayaking. Starting at the Chapel Pier, from a launching area suitable for small craft, these trips take you through a world of ponds and leafy banks, the gentle movement of the boat easing you downstream through the undiscovered waterway. A picture of how the town has developed and an image of what is yet to come. Westwards out of town and rising over the new bridge, the tidal stretches unfold. The Island River now continues its journey, running wide and deep. The journey passes the Skibbereen Rowing Club, a club which has not just fostered the sport of rowing for many years, but has become one of the most successful clubs of the country and has produced Olympic athletes. The trip continues to Old Court, site of Hagerty's Boatyard, where work is carried out on the restoration of heritage sailing boats. Onward to Inishbeg, the site of Inishbeg House, with its beautiful woodlands, parkland, farmland, gardens and foreshore. The trip then finishes in the village of Baltimore. Long established as a centre of trade and tourism, Baltimore Harbour is one of the most picturesque in the country. Situated at the eastern side of Roaring Water Bay, at the mouth of the River Island, the harbour is the location of ferries out through Carberry's Hundred Isles to Shirkin, Hare and Cape Clear Islands. The image of traditional sailing boats, slowly hauling in the evening sun, is an ancient one. It is the final journey of the Island River, the place where the waters of the land and the sea collide, and where sheltered havens are etched by the mountainous fury of the North Atlantic Ocean. It is an image born of yearning, honed by craftsmen, unchanged by time.